Ahern Fieldhouse has officially hosted its last event. With building full of such history, it will close its doors after 72 years of serving case Kansas State's athletics. Channel 8 News reporter Cooper Dieters has more. Mike Ahern Fieldhouse officially hosted its last event on February 17th with none other than the Steve Miller Invitational. Ahern Fieldhouse has been serving Kansas State athletics for 72 years and has been called home by the volleyball, track, and basketball teams. You know, I, I grew up going to games at, at Ahern and, um, you know, had, had, had friends and buddies that would sit in that student section over there. So, um, you know, was certainly excited about the opportunity to play there as a, when, when I went to K-State as a freshman and had some great memories there. But we, we also knew it was, it was time. We needed, needed a new building. In 1988, however, Bramlage Coliseum was constructed, giving the basketball teams a new home. The same court that Tex Winters was basically creating revolutionary basketball offenses on. Then the, the Volley Cats were able to um, practice, have many good seasons on that same court. And even during the basketball days, they had the indoor track in there, but it was dirt. Um, it was supposed to be cinder, but it was so dry in there that it all just turned to dirt. Well, I, I've told people a lot of times, I thought Ahern was the, the best place to play in the country. I've never been to, to, to Cameron Indoor. I think that's probably pretty good as well. But, uh, you know, Ahern was, was the loudest, had the best student section. While it may be closing down, there will always be plenty who remember Ahern for what it was, the loudest field house of its time. In Manhattan, from Channel 8 News, this is Cooper Dieters. The Ahern Natatorium will be the first to be torn down this summer in 2024, followed by the gyms. The field house will still stand.